Good afternoon. I'm back to keep working on these music envelopes. I am going to make a little notebook to put inside of it. And I've got some paper here. Sometimes when I have time I just cut strips. So I've got these strips here and I'm not quite sure how wide they are. I don't usually measure. Let's see. About three inches wide, looks like. Again, this is not an original idea with me. I have seen several people make these, so I don't know who came up with the original idea. But I will start with my music paper on the top, and I've got some of my coffee dyed papers. Let's see, more music paper. very lightly coffee dyed papers and plain ones and then I have some paper from this is from a uh, oh an old um, photo album or scrapbook scrapbook that's what it is I like those because the texture is a little different on those and I love the color on them so when I find those at thrift stores I usually pick them up so, what I'm going to do, just a second here, I have to get all my things in order. So I don't remember how the others made them when they did them, but I like to line up the top and then rip the bottom one just a little bit longer than the one that's on the top. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. Hopefully you can. And I'll get the next one. And oh, that one's too short. I think I will pick one of these instead. The other one was so light next to that one that was already light. I line up the top here. And again, I just tear it. I guess I should have shown you one that was already done to get an idea of what I'm doing. So let me do one of these next, just plain coffee dyed paper. Such a simple thing, but I think they look so pretty. And ah, can't get it apart. One of those. See, don't those layers look pretty? And I love the torn edge look. Whoops. I need to clip that together so it doesn't slide around on me. Kind of a big clip. But... I have to trim this one a little bit. There, that looks better. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I think I'll new, do another one of these lighter ones that are coffee dyed. This is when I first tried coffee dyeing papers and it didn't work out very well. I gave up for a while. And then I decided to try it again and it actually was working. So, But these are kind of cool because they have a texture to them. They're kind of bumpy, and they'd be easy to write on because they're so light, the color. They're not so bumpy that you couldn't write very well. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more. Maybe one of the darker ones again.
There we go. Oh, I thought I forgot a stapler, but I do have one. And we'll staple it together at the top. Uh oh, that didn't work. Then I will use some of this paper ribbon again that I used on the outside of the envelope. I actually have a little piece here that was left over from something of this color, so I will use this one. And just cut a strip to put across the top. glue. We'll cover up those staples. Flip it over and cover up the staples on the back side too. One of my daughters has been working on making the like the cover picture thing so you don't just see my arms in the way or that one time I had it, the picture that YouTube chose for the, like, I don't know if you call it a cover picture, was a broken scissors. So she's working at making a pretty picture to put on the front. It shows what the video is about. And she's doing a good job. Okay, and I will put some flat back pearls just like I did on the um, envelope. Put a little more glue here. That side wants to flip up for some reason. Oh, the stopper did not want to go back in the hole. Oh, maybe I'll just use that one again. That way I don't get so much glue. I might need to put some more in here. Man, I don't know why that thing is so hard to get in there today. Well, we'll just leave it for now because I will probably use it again anyway. So we'll get the flat back pearls. Got a hair in there. Got that out. Okay, and I have some of my coffee dyed paper. I thought I would put like a little decoration thing on the front. is getting dry. don't know if I needed a new one. I haven't seen the re-inkers around here unless I go online and see. I used to get them at a craft store but I haven't seen them lately and the ones around here. And my ink 
around at least the top one. I don't think I'll ink around all of them. Okay, glue that down. and this cap was on but it wasn't tight so I think it got a little dry. I'm terrible about that, forgetting to put the caps on. Okay. And then I'll put a butterfly on this too, I think, kind of like I did on the cover. I have to decide which butterfly. I like that one. That one's the same colors, just the stripes are going a different way. Kind of cool. I guess it's kind of. I should see which bow I'm going to use. That might make a difference. I made up a few little bows here to see which one I liked the best on here. This one's got little polka dots. No, too white. Uh, let's try the next one. I've been coffee dying, so my hands are kind of yucky again. I like that. I like that one. So it's between these two. don't know which one I like better. Maybe that darker one. So I will glue those on. This fabric, I have tons of it. When my mom first came to live with us, she could do puzzles and things, and then it got to where she couldn't do puzzles anymore, but she could rip apart fabric. For hours she could sit and rip apart fabric. So I'd go to thrift stores and garage sales and find all these prom dresses and bridesmaids dresses and she could sit for hours and just pull them apart gave her something to do and I can always use the fabrics and laces and trims and stuff so it was good for both of us so this is from some of the one of the dresses that she tore apart I have so many totes of fabric that maybe in my Etsy store I need to start doing um, like packets of different colors of fabrics and laces and stuff and see if people are interested in buying anything like that since I have quite a bit. I will probably never use all of it. And this butterfly needs pearls down the center. I 
with my little pearls. And this one will be finished. Oh, that looks really cute. Very nice. Then I will make one similar, not exactly like this, to go in the other little envelopes that will match the color. And you have a little notebook to write on to put in there. Yeah. There. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful day today. It's supposed to be a beautiful day today here. Thanks again. Bye.